and we're starting with the part four today when I'm going to show you how to attach correctly bottom rail for the sliding doors and the top rail for the sliding doors with the ending panels. If you'd like to check out previous parts. In a part one you can see how we assemble IKEA packs for on the floor. In the part two exactly the same wardrobe which we're doing now but upright if your ceiling is low. In a part three joining the wardrobes together correctly we have two frames in this case. In part five, I'm going to show you how to put together IKEA Haswick sliding doors. Let's do it part four. First, what I like to do, I prepare all the plastic and screws in a, in a place close to me so I know where everything is and it's easy to access and it's easy to assemble, easier to don't make mistakes this way because you can see all the screws and the plastic which you're going to need. Now the bottom panel, we divide the panel equally from the side, so you've got like two millimeter on each side and we secure this uh, top bottom rail with the four screws in each frame. So it's going to be eight screws all along the frame. The holes are pre-drilled already, so you don't need to be worried about the holes. Just divide the rail equally between the sides and secure it through those eight holes. The bottom panel is very simple. You don't need to do any special adjustment, basically just holding the uh, bottom of the sliding doors in place. Now the top one, uh, you're gonna need a bit more uh, thing to do. So this is the four thick plastic securing the top rail from the top with the four thick screws and two long screws that's gonna secure the rail from the front. Those plastics, they're securing the top rail from inside with the eight screws. So you're going to have eight plastics and eight screws if you have two frames. Now we're going to position the rail. You're going to, I, I like to put all my tools close to me, so I don't need to go up and down on the ladder. And we place the rail on the top. Place it equally from the side. You see it's coming nicely over the side panel. That's important. It has to come over the top on each side. You see equally divided and going nicely over the side panel. If you let it inside, it's kind of bending, the rail gonna bend inside. Secure the first plastic on the top, just for the rail to don't come on the top of my head while I'm fixing the front screws. No need to put the screw, it's just holding the rail in place. Now I'm gonna put the long screws from the front. There is no pre-drill hole, so just place the rail this is supposed to be equally divided on each side and place the one long screw on one side and another one on the other side. So this is the holding the frame uh, from the front. After that we're gonna do the thick uh, the, those plastics. You're gonna have four of these. So basically it's the two plastics on each side so four along uh, the top of the rail. Place it, the holes are pre-drilled, so just place it in and the front just clicking over the rail. See that small zigzag holding the rail from the top and we do all exactly the same on all four of them. That's it, we got three done and the last one on the side. Quite hard to access because the water is tall, but you can do it if you patient enough or if you have a taller ladder than me. Um, we got four screws which is going to secure from under the plastic. So just hold the plastic on the top because it's going to pop out once you're pressing on the screw from the bottom and secure the screws. That's it. Once the screws are secured you're going to have the top part done. So all four of them the important thing is just hold that plastic because it's going to pop out. Once you press on that screw from under, the plastic popping out or is twisting, so it's going to come off the rail. So important is important thing is it's staying in the in the rail. So just hold it and secure the four screws from the bottom. Now we're going to do the inner side, uh, secure the rail, uh, the top rail from, from inside. So we're going to have eight of these. It's going to be four in each panel. There is the holes are pre-drilled already. So you see I'm putting the plastic in the frame from inside and find the holes. You see where the arrow pointing, there is hole pre-drilled already. So just went, go through the plastic to the hole and do exactly the same on eight of them. So it's a four in each frame because we have two packs wardrobe frames in this case. So just go 
inside not like this outside if you stay like this it's gonna be useless so just place the plastic in and find the hole once you find it sometimes you have to push the plastic slightly harder in but it's important you go right on the top of the hole and uh, place the screw in so you have four on this side it's quite hard access i found it quite hard uh, to do this one because you have to hold the plastic at the same time uh, put the screw in so just gonna need a bit more patient the electric screwdriver is a big help in this case especially the small one in the small spaces is extremely useful i'm gonna leave the links in the description so you can check it out what i'm using uh, which tools i'm using those two electric screwdrivers those are uh, the, the most used tools what I do and the small one is fantastic the battery is excellent on it as well and you can come easily to the small spaces it's like in this case you see dealing with the small screws and a small space there and you work up as well so they're not heavy okay so we have all seven of them done the last one eighth one securing the rail from inside just place it in exactly the same, find the hole and place the screw in, secure it and you have the whole uh, top rail secured. Now we're going to do the ending panels, just make sure you li li uh, lining them nicely on the side, you're going to have uh, four screws on uh, each side. On the top uh, uh, you, can, you can flush it with the top or you can leave it, uh, I usually do one or two millimeters uh, from the top. You see there is just tiny gap from the top or you can flush it it's okay it's not that extremely important and secure it important thing is flush it from the side so it's not gonna go over the edge once you press it nicely the screws are not coming from the side so it's gonna be right on the middle so just secure those four screws uh, we have the left side done now with the ending panel the right side it depends if you are gonna uh, slide do the sliding door if you're gonna hang them over or if you're gonna slide it from the side if you're gonna slide the sliding door from the side leave this one open don't put it in now i'm just gonna show you how to do it but if you're sliding the doors from the side you can leave this one and do it after you do the doors of course you would have to remove the stopper as well if you're gonna do this if you're gonna slide the sliding door from the side so now i'm just showing you how to do it ending panel flashing nicely on the side on the top you can flush it with the top as well secure all four screws once you've done that, everything is done. And that's how we prepare the wardrobe before uh, you're gonna put the sliding doors up. See in part five when I'm doing the Haswick um, sliding doors, and here is a bit of madness just for your entertainment. Thank you for watching guys, and see you in my next one very soon. Have a fantastic day.